Yo guys, what is going on? Mortex here and today we are reviewing the Xbox xCloud gaming beta. That's right, on of all places, Internet Explorer. So I've been waiting to review this for a while now. I've been waiting for my invite and I recently got it. I'm going to jump straight into it and let you know my thoughts. So the UI is very slick and minimalistic. As you can see here, it gets straight to the point and there's no messing around. At the top, we've got the big hitting AAA games. As you can see, they're highlighted. Then we move further down and we've got jump back in. These are all the games that I've recently played and you can jump straight back into the game. Next, we've got the recently added games. Some great games on here, Destroy Whole Humans, one of my all time favorites and it's recently been remastered. And then we come down to the sub category we've got classic indie family friendly sports and racing shooters which is my favorite action and adventure platformers and fighters and brawlers now there is a vast vast array of games in the library there's two options that you can do if you want to view them you can go show all or view all games i'm not sure why they put both of these options in there because they do the exact same thing so there is a vast array of games in the library and trust me you will never struggle to find a game that you want to play for numerous hours and then you realize it's bedtime now what we're going to do really quickly i'm going to show you some gameplay then i'm going to give you my initial thoughts
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people. Two minutes remaining. Buster Jackson, this is the Redondo tape. Charles McNeil. Six months in my Redondo. Each right by the condo. Oh my gosh, oh my God, I say, I'm gonna need my sushi condo. Shoot a star like a Cosmo. Make you move like a Mambo. Spank a hater like a Bongo. They be sleeping Mambo. Girl, sweet like a Mambo. Cause it tastes to the Congo.
Cuida de ellos como cuidas de mí y ayúdanos a cumplir nuestra misión con éxito. Y otórganos el salvoconducto de vuelta a casa en el cielo. Hey team, hope you're all good. Transmitting coordinates to the scout unit's last known position. Let's hope for the best. Head over there and see what you can find. See that old drone? If you bring it down, I should be able to access the data and see what it's carrying. I got it! I've got some data on this region for you. Hope it helps. <laughs> That's just a quick highlight of some of the games that you can actually run and I've been running this on my wireless setup. As you can see though, some of the games did struggle with getting the full maximum graphics out of the game. Now this could be because of my internet connection or it just could be because of the actual beta itself and the games are not fully optimized yet. But either way, the games run really well. If you do struggle with wireless at the best of times, what I would really recommend doing is using this over internet. Plug it into your router, plug it into your PC and you will get the best quality. Now it doesn't come without some downfalls. Throughout certain games there is various loading times. I've noticed on the AAA games the loading times are a lot more intense than let's say your indie games like Exo Crisis or Katana Zero. Some of the games that did take a long time to load up for example were Dirt and we did try Vermintide Warhammer not on screen but we did try off screen. One game that I was actually really surprise that loaded up really really quick was GTA Online. That game is really hefty but then again it's been around for a decade so it's really well optimized. Just take that with a pinch of salt sometimes the games will take a long time to load and it does all come down to your internet speed. Overall, am I happy about this? Yes, I am very happy. Microsoft have hit the nail on the head with cloud gaming. The future looks bright and this is the way that the platforms are gonna be moving in the next decade. I know a lot of companies have tried this before, i.e. Stadia. If you do wanna try this out, I would highly recommend checking it out. You can get the Game Pass Ultimate for around 10 pounds. I think it's around $14. Now, my invite didn't come through straight away. You may have to wait a day or two, but that's not a problem at all. Some people have actually told me when they bought the Ultimate Pass, they could access this straight away. So all you need to do is go on xbox.com slash play and then see if you're able to access this. I actually got a message through my Xbox from Microsoft saying, I was invited to the beta. Another great thing to see on this as well is that we have feedback on there. Yes, why am I chanting and raving about feedback? Well, it's great to see it's actually implemented correctly on something like this. So it shows that Microsoft does care. At the end of every game, you're not able to quit out without giving them some feedback, good or bad, what you did like and what you didn't like. And this will all be submitted back to make the cloud gaming a lot better. There you have it, guys. That's the Xbox Cloud Gaming app. Hopefully you've enjoyed this first look at it and i would highly recommend going to check it out yourselves but as always guys please give the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video give the thumbs up if you didn't enjoy this video bring them comments down below i love reading all your comments and until next time guys stay safe and i'll see you all soon